boys and girls, it's Miss Kim. I was blending in with my environment. Today's vlog is going to be about nature and camouflage and how the many different animals and creatures in our world use camouflage in their environments to either protect themselves or so that they can get their prey easier. So stick around, we're gonna have a lot of fun with nature's camouflage. Our first category of camouflaged creatures are insects. Now the stick bug is exactly that. It's a bug that looks like a stick and it uses it, its environment to hide. So it hides where there are twigs and sticks on trees. It also even sways with the wind so that it can look just like it is in connection with the tree and the sticks around it. Take a look at this awesome stick bug. Stick bugs can also be found everywhere on our planet except Antarctica. I bet you can guess why, because it's too cold there for stick bugs. Our next camouflage insect is the ghost mantis. It's basically a praying mantis, but it's very cool and uses camouflage to hide from predators and to sneak up on its prey. They differ in the different species vary in colors from dark brown to green, but they allow these colors to let them blend into their natural surroundings, such as tree bark, a plant with green leaves. They can even stay still like a leaf. These are some beautiful creatures. Our next insect that uses camouflage is the cloudless giant sulfur butterfly, which is mainly found in the United States. Hmm, I bet you're wondering, how does this butterfly use camouflage? Well, it typically rests on flowers that closely match the neon yellow color of its wings. Can you see? how it uses its color to blend in with its environment. Sometimes they're even hard to find. Another way this butterfly uses camouflage is that their wings also look like leaves. Such beautiful creatures. Our next creepy crawly insect that uses camouflage is the goldenrod crab spider. Check it out. It uses camouflage as its primary defense also as its offense to catch prey. They are able to alter their coloration over a course of several days in order to blend in with their surroundings and their environment. So this means this bright yellow spider can look yellow one day and then a couple days later, or maybe even a week later, it could be green so that it can blend in with its environment like Miss Kim is doing right now. Our next category of cool creatures that can camouflage or animals are the reptiles and amphibians in camouflage. First up is the chameleon. That is one famous reptile that can change colors to blend in. The chameleon skin has a superficial layer, which means a, a layer on top which contains pigments, which helps to change colors by changing these spaces on their skin called guanine crystals. The guanine crystals changes the pigments, which is the color, so that they can change to blend in with their environment. Chameleons often change color to warm up or to cool down. Turning darker helps warm the animals because Dark colors absorb more heat. Another cool lizard that uses camouflage is the leaf-tailed gecko. They have the ability to camouflage with the colors of their environment and the shapes and vegetation of the forests that they live in. They have these fringe flaps on their lower jaws and the sides of their bodies can flatten against the surface. When they flatten against the surface, you can't really see the outline of them. They blend right in. They can almost completely camouflage against dry leaves 
or the bark of trees. Snakes can look and blend into their environment with the camouflage of the color of their skin. The brown vine snake disguises itself as a branch or a vine, and it waits for its prey to come and snatches it. Amphibians, they are also masters of disguise using camouflage. The Vietnamese mossy frog blends in completely with its environment, which has wart-like texture on its skin, blends in with its habitat, which basically is covered with rocks and mountainous rainforest habitat. Check out how this Vietnamese mossy frog blends in with its environment. Now we go under the sea to see how sea life camouflages itself under the sea. Our first sea creature that uses its camouflage beautifully is the great rockfish. They have like a knobby skin texture covered in algae like fuzz combined with their complete stillness allows prey to just get a little too close because they can't tell if that's just a rock or if it's a rockfish. Another beautiful sea creature that has always fascinated me that can camouflage amazing is the octopus. The first way that octopuses use camouflage is to change the way their skin looks and feels. They can control the muscles under their skin. They can make their skin look smooth or bumpy. So if, for instance, if you see an octopus near a bumpy plant, it could start to get bumps on its skin to look like that plant. They also use chromatophores, are cells that help octopuses change color. Octopuses can be found in every ocean of our world. Another sea creature that uses camouflage is called the cuttlefish. They also use chromatophores. Each one of those cells that they have that help to change the pigment and the coloration can expand or contract to change the skin color. So they can transform their appearance in a fraction of a second in order to transform and become a different color. I actually had to put it on makeup to camouflage myself. Our next sea creature that uses camouflage and is fascinating is the leafy sea dragon, which is basically the cousin of a seahorse. Seahorses are amazing creatures, but this leafy sea dragon, it looks like the appearance of seaweed and it can sway and flow with it looking exactly like the seaweed in its environment. Take a look at how hard it is to find this sea, leafy sea dragon. Now let's talk about animals, land animals that use camouflage to blend in with their surroundings. How about the leopard? The spotted coat fits so well with the green and yellow grass allows the leopard to hunt for food as it hides and waits quietly. BAM! And he gets his prey quickly. It also allows the leopard to hide from predators such as lions or tigers, if you can believe that. Another cool land animal that is basically its own camouflage is the jaguar. The jaguar spots are also called rosettes they are used as camouflage. These spots provide camouflage to help them blend in with their environment. Take a peek at the, how they blend in so beautifully with their environment. Miss Kim is trying to camouflage as if I were in the white snow. Similar to the polar bears who sometimes look like a snowdrift with their white fur hiding amongst the snow. The white fur of polar bear is their camouflage against the ice and snow so they can blend in with their environment 
and sneak up on their prey. Rawr. An Arctic fox is also a very cool animal that uses camouflage. In the winter, its fur turns bright white so that it can also blend in with its cold, icy, white snow environment. And a very cool animal that also changes its color during the season twice a year is the mountain hare that also turns white in the winter. And it goes back to a brownish color during the summer months so it can blend in with its environment. Their change in color is achieved by molting an old coat, which means they shed that coat and then they grow a new one. The snowy owl also has white fur that they use as camouflage to help them hide in their snowy habitat. Check out these cool photos of some snowy owls hiding. Now there are birds in the air that are a little hard to camouflage when they're flying up against a blue sky. However, if you take a peek at the Eastern Screech Owl, it blends right in. Take a look at how this beautiful creature with its gray and brown feathers blends right in seamlessly to this bark of the tree. There are animals all over the world that use camouflage. Miss Kim only covered a few. If you want to learn more about how creatures use camouflage, you can always go to the library and pick up a book and read more about it. But how fascinating is that? How fascinating is it that these beautiful creatures all around the world use camouflage to protect themselves or to catch their prey and to blend in beautifully with their environment? Miss Kim hopes you enjoyed this vlog. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Bye.